Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi, today I'm going to change a, the gearbox aisle and a uh, E7G engine. It is adopted by many many models and it is made by Renault. It is a 1.4 liters. It is injection. It is made uh, from Renault company in France. Now this model uh, or this engine it is adopted by many many models and Renault built it and sold it and installed it in many many cars all around the world. Uh, between them is the uh, Dacia Supernova, uh, Dacia Solenza, Dacia Logan, Renault Clio and many many others. And this unit or this uh, engine it is fitted with the GH gearbox assembly. Now the gearbox it is in here. I don't know if you can see it but yeah. Now in order to change the gearbox aisle in this gearbox you need to remove this filling hatch over here or filling uh, port or filling cap and the filling cap it is this one over here. Let me just zoom in a little bit in order so you can see it better. Yeah, you need to remove this filling cap, screw it off, and you need to remove the gearbox cap in the body of the gearbox. So, without a further ado, let's get started. First of all, you need to jack up the car. And the way that I'm going to use to jack up this car, I'm going to set some uh, filled cement blocks under the wheel and also the wheels can be lifted. I have the jacks but I'm going to use this method and we will see how it goes so here is the car has been lifted and I use a jack in order so I can lift it and also I put some uh, cement filled uh, building block under the wheel as an additional support and now I'm going to enter the bottom of the car and show you the draining po uh, the draining port how it looks like so here is under the car and this is the port that I am talking about as you can see this is the one that I need to remove in order so I can change and drain the oil from this gearbox so let me get a container and remove this port, this screw type port and drain the oil and we will see how it goes. So here is the port has been removed and if you can see I can press it with my fingers. So I'm going to remove it and we will see how the oil will drain out of this port. So the oil as you can see it is not very clear but I don't know. But it is coming out though. 
as you can see. Now remember this car has a 146 kilometers on it, so yeah. I will let it dry and then I will put the cap back on and we will fill it up with the new oil. Here is the oil has been completely dra drained out and now I'm going to secure the this draining post cap back on and we will see how we are going to put to put the new oil back in so here is the car has been lowered down to the wheels and I remove the gearbox cap using an adapter that I made for this purpose over here this one and I put a comb with a hose in it and I insert it into the hole and now I'm going to pour the oil the new oil into the comb according to the manual of this engine or in this car and it is a Dacia Supernova it required a 3.5 liters of oil in order so it can reach the correct amount of oil in the to the gearbox so I'm going to pour it and we will see what happens so I use this auto gear it is oil it is an MTF uh, 75W-80 and that is what the manual uh, described and recommended to be used it is a GL5 substitute it's a SAE it is a, a made in Holland and I already put a 3 liters of oil in it and now this is the last bottle and I'm going to pour a half of it in order so I can achieve the 33.5 liters and here you go as you can see there is a huge difference between the old oil and this one so yeah I'm going to pause this and I will adjust the remaining amount so I waited for the oil to drain all out from the pipe or from the hose that I use in order so I can pour it into the gearbox and I resecure the gearbox cap back on after I confirm that all of the oil has been enter the gearbox assembly and this is a way uh, to change the oil in this type of gearbox and in this type of engine so i believe this video it is all done and i hope you enjoy it if you did please like subscribe thank you for watching see you next time